And while our military heroes fight overseas to keep us safe, many unsung heroes remain at home. Uh, coming up, meet the military spouses making sacrifices for our nation every day. Today we honor those who serve alongside our soldiers, our sailors, our airmen, our Marines and Coast Guardsmen, our nation's military families. Today is Military Spouse Appreciation Day. So what does it mean to be a military spouse? Joining us now are 2012 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the Year, Jeremy Hilton, who's sitting next to me, 2014 Armed Forces Insurance Army Spouse of the Year, Rita Hicks, who's in the middle, <laughs> and we have 2014 Armed Forces Insurance Military Spouse of the year, Lakeisha Cole. Thank you all for being with us. Thank you. Absolutely. Lakeisha, I'll start over there with you. Tell yeah. us about your spouse, branch, rank, where you live, how many kids, and how long your spouse, or how many times he's been deployed. Um, my spouse, uh, Deontay, today's actually his birthday, so happy birthday. Um, he is uh, active duty Marine. Um, he's been in the Marine Corps for about 19 years now. We have three beautiful children, a 12-year-old, a two-and-a-half-year-old, and a one-year-old, and, one and we're currently stationed at Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Right, yeah. you're busy. Yes, very busy. <laughs> okay, Rita, how about you? Uh, my husband recently retired from the Army after 22 years. He was a Special Forces soldier and then a pilot. Um, we're based in Houston, and we have three kids as well, seven-year-old boy, four-year-old four girl, and a three-month-old girl in the green room. And uh, so now that my husband is out, what he does is actually training Special Forces teams before they deploy. Jeremy, your wife, she's in the Air Force. She is. My wife, uh, Renee, is in the Air Force. Uh, she's a special agent for the Air Force. We have two kids, Kate, who's 14, and Jackson, who's seven. Uh, we're currently stationed at the Pentagon, but we'll be moving this summer. Okay, Rita, what does it mean to be a military spouse? I think that is maybe one of the biggest questions that I've ever heard because we come in all shapes and sizes and I think what it means is just um, you know strength and adaptability and figuring out how to work together to make sure that our families are taken care of. Jeremy what's your message to your wife today on Military Spouse Appreciation Day? Um, it's a great question. Um, Hun, um, I'm here to support you and find ways uh, to take care of our family and ensure you can do your job. That's beautiful. You want to give a message to your yes. wonderful husband, too? Thank you. Yes, for always being there, supporting me. Um, yeah, that's Lakeisha, it. Thank what you. can we do as a community to support our military for, for folks that are watching that don't have a spouse that's serving? Right. Um, to be a little bit more understanding um, in our lifestyle and some of the challenges that we face, especially when we move every two to four years and we have to reinvent ourselves and reinvent our careers. Um, so just to be a little bit more understanding of uh, some of the challenges that we go through. Yeah, uh, Jeremy, what is the secret? Because your wife, when she's deployed, you're at home with sure. kids. I think it's a lot about the community. Um, and when we talk about military families, you got to remember it's not just us, it's, mm -hmm. it's our kids who serve, it's our parents who serve, um, it's our neighbors who help us mm -hmm. serve. Uh, it, it takes a, a lot of us all working together to make sure our men and women can do their jobs. Rita, last question I'll ask you, because we were talking about this in the break, about all the infighting between mm -hmm. Republicans and Democrats, and some people love the president, some people don't. What's a good message we can share with the country on this Friday, coming from someone who, who who's a part of the military? You know, our spouses serve uh, regardless of who's in the White House. And as military spouses, we're often their advocates. And it's our job to figure out how to work with whatever leaders are in power. And that's what we do. And so it requires civility and working together and taking that extra time to understand each other. And I think if the rest of the country sort of fell in line with that and just focus more on how do we, you know, take care of our families, not just military families, but all of our families, it would, a lot of the noise would fall away. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Being an American trumps everything, right? <laughs> that comes first. Thank you all. God bless you. Between all three of them, their spouses have, have had 20 deployments. Isn't that unbelievable? You guys are our heroes. Thank you for everything you do. Thank, Thank you. you. Those yeah. earrings are fabulous. If you want them, she got them at Express. All the girls in the green room, we yeah. love them. We're going shopping today. <laughs> Thank you all.